Greetings to you and welcome. I am a Google shop, some obsessive compulsive creative chick from Australia, starting out on her own NFT journey. Today I'm revealing the next of the Halloween horses, number three. It seems that as a brand new YouTube channel, I'm a little bit limited, or shall I say restrained, by how frequently I can post videos. I'm not a fan of being held up, but it's one of my lesser difficulties right now. I spent some time yesterday working on the website and getting the blog started, so feel free to follow the link below and take a look around. It's a bit awkward <laughs> without a proper domain. Um, I'm trying to stay autonomous throughout this, anonymous I should say, that's the word, throughout this process, but it's a catch-22 really. It should be hard to sell the NFTs without interconnected online medias um, and the website's core of that network. So it, it's a bit of a catch-22 to be trying to get everything moving and yet being a little bit reserved about sharing the um, website address. Mostly because it's just so easily connected back to me, me behind the mask. Um, I was hoping to buy a proper microphone this week, but the domain may come first. I guess we shall see. As much as I'm working to a plan here, one must acquiesce to intuition and gut feel sometimes. So this is Albion coming together that you can sort of see. Albion is probably my favourite. The lore is old school from the British Isles, and I've had a soft spot for him as a character entity since early in the design process. But functionality in the game needs to come before my personal favouritisms, so Patch is always going to be on top of that list. By the way, if you don't know who Patch is, or if you want to see the other Halloween horses, they're now up on the website. And I'll add a link in the top corner here as well. Back to my point though, Albion is the name of the white horse that you see painted or laid down in chalk on the British hillsides. The plan for him in the game is that when he's in your stables and a horse dies of old age, one of your pregnant mares will give birth to twins, with one of those twins picking up characteristics of the horse that passed away. Each of the Halloween horses has a gameplay role. So when I have sold some NFTs and there's a little bit of money coming in, I can start to build a team. So when we've got a team going, we can start to put the game together. Those are things that I just can't do myself and I'd much rather – spend the money hiring good people who are going to do a way better job than me because like I said in the last video, getting good quality and presenting good quality to you is very important to me. So these horses, whoever buys the NFTs for these horses is going to gain access to these horses as playable features but that's a long way away. I need to put together that team. And the best for the job don't work for free. So I'm going to ask you to please, please comment, like, subscribe to here on YouTube, to Twitter. Um, it's just going to help get the word out. It's going to help get the word out. It's going to help people find out more. It's going to bring together more of a community because I'm building a Discord server for it all, but there's no point having the Discord server if there's nobody going to jump in and, and join the community. So we need to bring people on board. We need to bring people in. We need to get a feel for it, and I want to talk with you guys. I want to communicate with you guys what you want. Because I know what I want, and I've designed the game, the game already to the nth degree. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be the sort of game you guys want to play. 
um, when it comes to horse games, people are pretty particular. They'll put up with a lot of rubbish because there is a lot of rubbish on the market. But at the end of the day, if, if this is going to be a community, members need to be involved. If this is going to be the sort of game that I'm trying to put together, community is a big part of it because it is essentially going to be like a metaverse. So I'm going to ask you to subscribe. I'll shut up soon. <laughs> keep your ears and eyes to the winds and keep your eye on social media, especially as we start to come closer to the minting dates because there's not, I'm not minting very many of these horses. I'm minting enough to get the ball rolling, enough to get some interest happening, enough to spark off the, the, the collection, which will be launched next month. These horses are very limited, so you're going to need to be paying attention if you want one. Anyway, I will leave you now to enjoy the last little tidbits of the video as I finish up Albion. And I will be around posting again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm posting a video, the first video of me working on the Kelpie, which is our water horse.